Thank you for that. I had to go in there and get my little my little ticket for reserved <laughs> parking. So yeah, that's a sore subject for a lot of people. Yeah, luck you know, luckily for me, my the company that I drive for, shout out to the company that I drive for. They uh they take care of the parking for me. So I don't Oh that's have to, nice. I don't have to worry about uh worry about you know, not getting reimbursed for, you know, for parking or anything like that. So, yeah. All right. So, of course, we 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 all knew about about that bullshit three card Monty. I mean, it that oh, that is yeah. the oldest, you know, the three card Monty, the, the 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 where's the white ball in the cups. You know, those Yo. are the biggest, you know, the biggest hustles that I ever seen. You know what they they had the one oh, person, yeah. they had the one. You know it's 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 always a two person uh a, a two person hustle where the one guy. In this case, it would, was three apparently. Yeah, where the one guy would you know you know pretend to be winning and and looks like oh okay and yep. then you know they'll let you win the first five the, the, the ten and and then we'd be like okay well you want to yep. go for double or nothing you slap that up and. All of a sudden, the 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 card ain't there or the ball ain't there, and you know it's like, mm-hmm. oh, well, my bad, dude. You lose this round, so so that's so that's the game. What it, 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 that's the game that they was running, but unfortunately for you, they took your money and your. They, they, I didn't even. <laughs> I knew better because I knew you know I knew what it was. Mm-hmm. I've seen this. I've been around. I've heard it. I've not ever actually seen it in person in there. And I didn't see them doing this. So it was, you know, I heard about all this after the fact. Mm-hmm. You know, because I, I had things I was doing. I was trying to get out of here to see my friend. And I'm like, no, I ain't got time for this. and right. Because I would not participate and I would not comply and do what they wanted to do. This is the end result. So in in the comments, uh, you know, you you turned your comments off again. That's you know, kind of yes, had me, kind of had me wondering, like, you know, why you didn't, why you turned the your hate. comments off because of because yep. of uh, what happened to it you. Was you would probably want to leave it on, but you said you 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 garner more more negative feedback than positive. And I did one of which you said why. Why you wasn't carrying, uh, you know, some of us drivers, you know, depending on whether we, we drive for uh, uh, a company, we unfortunately can't bring our weapons exactly. onto the truck because yep. we're abide by company rules and policy. Yes. Now, if I was the owner op of my own truck, then, yeah, that would have been different. But then you will also have to be bound by rules and regulations by going in these different states that don't exactly. even recognize and every state's different right yeah. that don't even recognize concealed carry now that's something now with everything that you that these truck drivers is talking about maybe that's something y'all should add in you know concealed carry you know next time somebody next time they somebody want to do a slow roll or something like that maybe y'all should add they that have in. tried and it you know there's places like chicago guns mm-hmm. are illegal there same even thing though all the new bad york. guys have them yeah same, same new, thing york, new york um yeah. i think what is it connecticut I, I i'm not for sure i don't run the northeast enough to know what their rules are like where i live in kansas I can open or conceal without a permit. And when I'm on TikTok, um, I was on live. My very first account got banned because I had bought a new gun. I did not know. We weren't allowed to have them on there. And my account got permanently banned. So I had to start another one. And um, anybody that knows me, when I'm home, one way or another, I have two guns. And I have one on me all the time. It's just um, unfortunate and you, you don't you don't okay. see it. Yeah, you know, I can go, I and I and when I'm in Kansas, it lays right up on the dash of my truck. Because I used to work out in Wichita. Well, I worked out of Hutchison. I was, um, I, I was working through with a, with Kroger, and I was delivering groceries to Dillon's 
grocery stores in Wichita, which has a lot of gang problems out there and a lot of drugs, which is a lot of cities. But some of these grocery stores are in bad neighborhoods. And I was going in there at 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, there's two stores in particular, all the, you know, if you look at a grocery store, the docks around back, and 99% of the time, it's pitch black back there. They don't have lights back there for us. They don't give a crap. Right. And so I carried, and I I carried out in the open, which once I went into the facility, they we weren't supposed to have it on us, so I just covered it up, mm -hmm. you know, and they didn't know. And most of the time, if they did, they didn't say anything. But I watched many of drug deals go down waiting to get unloaded at some of these places. <laughs> wow. So, you know... Yeah, there's, you know, in Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma, I have it on me all the time. That's but so. beyond that, it stays at home, you know. Um, so that... I do carry mace in the truck, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but, you know, uh, the type of mace I carry is not legal to have in your truck. There are certain types that you cannot legally carry. I got in trouble one time because I had my um, winch bar from when I was pulling flatbed. Mm -hmm. I had a DOT officer tell me, that I could not carry that in the cab of my truck is considered a weapon. Wow, your wrench bar. And I was like, Arr. yeah. And I was like, wow, okay. So, like, again, you know, that's, I never looked uh, into Again, it. this is another, uh, uh, another thing for truck drivers that we go through, like, for real, for real. Like, like bro, we, we can't, we, we, we can't have, we're, we can't have we nothing can't to protect, protect ourselves. We can't have nothing to protect the ourselves. The best thing, the best thing I have ever found that works that is absolutely one hundred percent legal to carry is wasp spray. I heard of that too. I, I heard about that. It, if you spray it in somebody's face, it will blind them. Literally. And if like, if you think about it, if you put mace off in a small confined space like your truck. Mm -hmm. you're unfortunately going to get some of it too. But at least, you know, with the wasp spray, you spray it at them. It's a fine stream because the mace sprays out a little further mm -hmm. than the wasp spray does. And at least with the wasp spray, you know, it goes right wherever you spray it. It's a direct stream. It doesn't spray out, and it does what it's supposed to do. And I, for years, I used to carry two or three cans with me. I'd have one in my side box, one in my truck, one in my sleeper. And I, I only have one now, but um, I, I've learned to watch where I park because I unfortunately had an incident here about three years ago. Franklin can, uh, was Franklin, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. um, I was stupid, and um, I got out to go check something on my trailer because I was having problems with some lights. Walked to the back of my trailer. At the, I was at the TA and was not aware of my surroundings. And I had a crackhead come out from behind the tree line and jumped me. And I had my flashlight on me that was big enough to hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. And um, he snatched it out of my hand and hit me with it, slammed me up against my trailer, choked me. And oh. I had, he, he wanted money for crack is what he wanted. And he told me that. And uh, thankfully, I had some cash on me enough to pacify him. And he took it and he left. And I had, I... I had called the guy that I worked for at the time because we were really close friends, mm -hmm. you know, he, 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 you know. And unfortunately, and he, nobody, um, nobody didn't hear you doing that confrontation either? No, nah, I was in the middle of the night, you know. Their drivers were sleeping. I was all the way back in the very corner. I had stopped there long enough because I had to run to the bathroom, and I should have pulled up on a fuel island. I, there's a lot of mistakes I made in that, and I learned from it. And did I get hurt? Yeah, I had bruises on my neck and my face for a while, and... Um, I actually was uh, brave enough. I posted the pictures on on my Facebook and said, you know, this is what happens when you're not aware of your surroundings. I, I screwed up. I made some bad decisions, and I paid the price for it, and I owned it. You know, I should have done things way different than I did, but I learned from it. I don't put myself in those positions now. You know, I I guess I'm I'm not overly cautious. I've... I've I know a lot of people at nighttime, they put seat belts through their doors and they do this and they do that. And I think to myself, you know, if that's what you need to do to feel comfortable, I'm all for it. I don't because God forbid if there's a fire or something or something happens to me and I need, you know, somebody needs to get in my truck, they can't get in. You know, I won't do that. A TikToker, 
uh, Curvy Trucker. You know, I I did an interview with her. Shout out to Curvy Trucker. Mm-hmm. She did a she did a TikTok because it's a lot. Like I said, it's it's the the, the for some odd reason. I mean, the truckers just came out of the woodwork on TikTok. I mean, it just it just blew up mm-hmm. over the last couple of years. I I haven't seen I I, I haven't seen as many female TikTokers truckers. In a minute, and I and like I said, I've been on social media for over fifteen years, and been in trucking for mm-hmm. the last five, and like the last maybe year, year and a half, there's been an explosion of all lady truckers coming in through. I'm like, fellas, yep. if y'all looking for them, they all over there on TikTok. I'm just saying, but um, oh, we uh, most of us sh- stay to ourselves, mind our business, we do our job, and we want to be left alone. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Curvy Trucker. She did a TikTok. She says that, listen, you know, because all these other TikTokers is is making videos about print and yep. tying your 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 horn and all like that. She was like, look, if you got to go through all of that, <laughs> you don't need to be in the you don't need to be in the industry. We're going to talk about personal safety in your own truck and the lies people get told. Now, keep in mind, you're in a glass box. Someone really wants to get to you. All they have to do is literally just break your glass. You can only do so much. But companies know this and they spread out these fake safety tips so people don't carry weapons on their truck. The famous seat belt through the door, through the steering wheel trick. This is what's holding it in. That's it. All you gotta do, switch. And the cargo strap between both handles and restrapped. Now that will stop anyone from getting in your truck, including emergency personnel. If you also need to move your truck quickly, it's not going to happen. You put yourself at more of a risk. The string around your air horn definitely would get people's attention, but you might also get shot if you forget that you do it at two in the morning and wake half the truck stop up. The master key myth. Now, this was something that was very common in older trucks. You know, if you had the same type, the same model, most likely you could open it. A lot of companies used to have master keys to all of their trucks. It's something that most people have gotten away from now because it is a huge personal safety risk. It was like, all you got to yeah. do is lock the door, you know, and and God forbid, if you do do all those precautions and everything and something that should happen to you emergency wise, you know, I mean, is you making it harder for the emergency personnel to come in here to, exactly. to, to get to you. And say I just for- watched another TikTok or mm-hmm. a TikToker. He uh he duetted there was somebody who and I don't know who posted the video they were showing putting the seatbelt through and I just glanced by it. I didn't I didn't uh, mm-hmm. watch the whole thing. Um and he duetted it and he was talking about that and that's what he was saying. You know, if something happens, nobody can get to you. Exactly. This is what I do to stay safe in a semi. First, I do this seatbelt trick where I loop the seatbelts around the door handles and then I buckle it. This makes it harder for anyone to open the doors while I'm sleeping. I also tie the curtains to the seatbelts. And the second thing I do is I tie this paracord to the air horn and then I loop it around the seatbelts. So that way if anyone opens the door, That'll be sort of like my alarm system. Now, I'm not 100% safe just by doing these two things, but I made it harder for someone to break in. Now, the only real way to break in would be to break the windows, and good luck reaching them in a tall semi. And if even after all that, someone still managed to break in, I put the seats pretty much all the way forward, so they won't have too much space to walk around and move toward me. That and my big chest fridge that's in the front, if they want to get to the back they're gonna have to crouch and climb on top of that i learned these tricks from you guys so thank you you know nobody you know. can't nobody can't get to you nobody can't uh you know make sure that you are right and let's say exactly. and let's say you forget to take the 
take the cord from around the, the horn at about two, three o'clock in yeah. the morning and you open up your doors. Yeah, you're not gonna be you you you're not gonna be the you're favorite gonna piss of the somebody truck. Off. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna well, be the and favorite. I'm guilty of hey, I'm guilty of doing that. I have this Volvo. Anybody knows the Volvo, their air horn is in the middle of the steering wheel. Yep. The city horn is right there. And I can't tell you how many times that first week I had that truck, I honked the horn, I scared the shit out of myself. <laughs> I ain't lying. I have hit that damn thing so many times that I just, now I have learned, you know, where to set stuff and where to touch and not honk the horn at 2 o'clock in the morning. Then the truck stopped because, yeah, I get pissed off when somebody honks the horn and wakes me up. So I'm sure, you know, I woke a few people up and <laughs> pissed them off. And I apologize for that. I don't mean to do it intentionally. That's what's up. That's what's but, up. Yeah. Well, trucker chick, like I said, I I I enjoy myself with you this evening. Thank you very much for sharing your story you. with me and uh, you know, sh- and getting to know you. You are a citizen. So whenever you need to, you know, come on or, you know, chop it up with me on off or whatever, you know, reach out to me and uh we definitely will get it in. Well, most definitely. Anytime you come through Joplin, look me up, see if I'm around. I drop my truck at the, my drop my trailer off at the Petro, and I take my truck home. My neighbors hate me. My neighbors hate me. <laughs> I live in a village. We have no rules. I mean, we don't even have cops or the sheriff. Once the only time the sheriff comes through is when my neighbor calls him on me. That's what's Which, up. Yeah, me and her I, don't get old. That's a whole other story. I, I, I have a Karen with, next door to me. I, I mess with <laughs> I mess with Joplin, the uh, the uh, uh, Hollywood Casino right over there off of Six. So yeah, I, I mess with Joplin. Wait, wait, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, no. Joplin's not Hollywood. No, 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 Joplin no, 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 no. I'm thinking Juliet. My fault. I'm thinking Illinois. You yeah. in Joplin, Missouri? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Joplin. Down let in me the see. Corner. Let me see Joplin. Down there by the line, it's downstream. There we go. Yep, downstream, yep. I live, I don't think, downstream five minutes from my house. Exactly. I literally live in, a, I live in this little town in a, in a, in the very corner. The, the Petro's, what, 10, 15 minutes from my house. Downstream's like five minutes. So. Well, I tell you what. It's, next it's time, nice over there. Uh, next time I'm on my way to, uh, to uh, Texas. Uh, probably next week because you know I I normally I normally run the South so you know I run from Ohio to Florida Ohio to Texas you know those those yeah. my pretty those those two is my pretty good runs mm-hmm. like I run up in the Minnesota if we get something up that way too because my my uh, my fleet manager knows I like going up there Shaka P mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> But uh, but yeah, definitely. If I'm on my way down to uh, Texas, and if I, you know, get a ten hour or something like that, I definitely post up over at Downstream. So yeah, I'll I'll let you know that we're down there, and we can probably uh play some blackjack together. There you go. That's what's up. That's what's up, trucker chick. Everybody, thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate you coming on, and uh, you stay safe out there. And uh, happy Sunday and everything else. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Now I'll talk to you later. All righty.